Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. It's summertime, and there are many wonderful symbols, materials, and so forth associated with summer. And in this brief video, we'd like to do a quick demonstration uh, of a summer arrangement. This could possibly be used for a party or special occasion, uh, and it's just a fun one to do. To me, summer means grilling, going out, getting the barbecue out, and making good food and having good company. And so, of course, you realize when I start thinking that way, I'm going to use a grill as well for an arrangement. Exactly. I've got a small little grill here. I put a container up here. And in the container, we have some foam. We've got some of our salal tips placed there. And we're ready to go. Let's do an arrangement on a grill. Why not? Sure, we can have some fun with this. And to do this, I'm going to play with some flowers that are definitely associated with summertime. First of all, how about our hydrangea? Hydrangea have become the flower. Everybody loves them. And we use them at many times through the year. But I associate it especially with summer use. And I think they're a lot of fun to play with. So we're going to use some of our hydrangea in our arrangement. And I'm going to start with a couple of my white hydrangea. These are big, they're beautiful, they're showy, and look how they generally fill up space very, very nicely. I'm going to add another hydrangea over here. And these are just beautiful. They're lovely to work with. I think that the thing, the key on hydrangea is you want to make sure if you're going to be using these uh, in some of your efforts uh, for summertime parties and so forth, that you make sure that you take these uh, condition them well before use and consider them to be used primarily for the party. In other words, after the party, if they hold up, great. But we're thinking of a lovely display that's just going to look very, very pretty during the party and during the events. And then afterwards, anything else is kind of grace period. Of course, hydrangea come in many different colors. We've got the beautiful white hydrangea. But here is also a very, very pretty green hydrangea made available through the great folks at Blooming of Beloit in Beloit, Wisconsin. And we're going to work a few of these into our design as well. Let's stick one in over here. And then let's put another one over in here. They're great to use. They're big. They're showy. They fill space very, very nicely. These are just absolutely magnificent flowers. And we love to be able to make use of them in our designing. So we're mixing several different kinds. You can see why many designers love the use of some of these materials. Because the advantage, of course, of things like our hydrangea is that they fill space. They do it very, very quickly. And they're very, very efficient that way. And they're showy. So notice that with a few of our white hydrangea, a few of our uh, green hydrangea, how this has filled it up so very, very nicely. Now, of course, we want to mix our flowers with some other things. We have some roses. Everybody loves roses. Roses are always a favorite. So let's take a few of our roses and work some roses into our design. And so I'm taking one, placing it here, placing another one over here. Let's get uh, a larger rose in towards the center right about here. So you can see I'm having a lot of fun here. This is fun. It's a very, very pretty design coming together. The whole approach, quick, easy, and fun. That's what Rittner Floral School is all about. And I'm making sure that in doing this design that's going to be for a fun event or occasion, we're going to be definitely enjoying the whole process of designing with our flowers as well. So notice that I'm taking my roses. I'm putting one here, one there. The hydrangea really uh, filled the whole thing first. and. Now I'm taking some of the roses and just working them in here and there in between as far as my flowers are concerned. It's a beautiful design. It's coming together very, very nicely. And again, it exemplifies what we say about floral designing. Quick, easy, and fun. I'm going to stick one more rose in here. I'm going to sneak it over here on this side. This is a one-sided piece. We could do it on both sides as well if we wanted to. Uh, but I'm keeping this as a one-sided one. Now, there are some other things we can play with. We have some leucodendron. Let's take a leucodendron and work it into our design. So I'm going to sneak one in over here. And I'm going to work another of my leucodendron flowers here just for contrast. Because we normally wouldn't think of mixing this with the roses and with the hydrangea. But why not? We can mix all kinds of things together. And so I'm getting a couple of these into the design as well. 
one over here, one over there, and then we have a little of our, uh, some of our other materials here that we're going to be playing with in the design. We like to, to mix materials together. It gives a very, very interesting effect. And we have a few echinaceas that come from the folks of Blooming of Belloit, and we're working a few of those into our mix. And of course, one thing that we're seeing a lot of that we think is very, very neat uh, is the use of berries in designing. A lot of designers love to work berries. And there are so many different wonderful berry materials that we can play with through the year. There are, for example, uh, the hypericum berries that are our standard fare. Uh, I'm enjoying the use of some of these. These are some of the viburnum berries made available through the folks of Blooming of Belloit in Belloit, Wisconsin. They're absolutely magnificent. They're pretty, they're showy. And these are definitely uh, a great summer fair because they are available very, very nicely at this time of the year. So making use of some of the berries to kind of jazz up our design and making it interesting is certainly a cool thing that we can do as well. Now, there are many different kinds of berries out there besides uh, the use of our viburnum berries. Uh, we have, for example, some bittersweet. You may have some of this stuff growing on your property. It's, it's almost like a weed, but it is an amazing uh, material because the bittersweet looks great when it's fresh, but it also looks great when it starts to dry out and pops out almost like popcorn. And uh, this is something that you may get in some parts of the country. You may not be able to get in others, um, but certainly if you have it available to you and if it's growing uh, near you or if you want to bring it in from uh, some of your sources, it is something to consider. And so we thought we would work a few of our bittersweet in here. The bittersweet is courtesy, again, of the folks of Blooming of Belloit, of Belloit, Wisconsin. It is, I think, an amazing, amazing kind of berry. And I look at it as just a, a wonderful ornamental berry that certainly has uh, possibilities in terms of use. And so I'm working a little bit of my bittersweet berries in, mixing it with the viburnum berries. It gives a very, very natural and a very, very pretty effect, I think, to our design. And so I'm just taking a little here and there and working it into the design to mix with the viburnum. So I've got some right here. I'm going to work a little bit right here. And I'm just letting it droop down to give a very pretty effect. Well, what do you think, folks? Summer means many different things to many different people. For some, it's watermelon. For some, it's uh, going to the beach, swimming, playing, uh, using kites, having all kinds of fun, summer sports. To me, summer is also good food and grilling. And there's no reason at all why we can't take a small little grill and turn it into a lovely vase arrangement for our party or event. You can see that with the use of some of our hydrangea, both of the white hydrangea and green hydrangea, we can come up with quite an effect, adding some of our roses and then using a dramatic splash of different berries like the viburnum berries and the bittersweet from Blooming of Belloit, we can come up with an amazing effect. We thank you for coming in and visiting our classroom today. It was a pleasure presenting this little video to you. We hope that you enjoyed it. And by all means, feel free to keep checking out some of the videos in our series. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.